In the last video, we learned about creating and editing blocks. I have my verse copied twice and then a bridge. But I want to add an introduction. So let's do that now. We'll just drag these out of the way. And I will now create an intro. I'll click my pencil tool and just draw in a block. And we'll change it to block 3, which is empty at this point. I haven't defined block 3. So in block mode, we're going to define our intro. Let's take the drum beat and the bass from our verse and copy it, and then go to block three, which I will rename intro. And we're going to paste in our drum and our bass. And now you can see the ghosted notes of our introduction. <laughs> So just the drum and the bass, and here comes the maelstrom. All right, but let's say we want to build this a little bit more. Well, I can take my mute tool, and remember the mute tool is letter T, and I can mute sections of my block. Any clips within the block can be muted. So now I start with just the drum beat. Let's see if we can build it a little bit more. I'll use my razor tool and chop the introduction. So now I have two copies of it. The first one's the first four bars and the second one's the second four bars. And in the second four bars, I'm going to unmute the bass using my mute tool. Now let's hear what we have. So you can see how easy it is to create variations of our blocks just by using the mute tool. Now if I record over the block in song edit mode or drag in a clip like I'm going to do now, the clips that I have created will override the block, another way of making variations. I'm going to get rid of this pattern. I don't need it. Now watch what happens if I start with my verse. When I get to the second copy of the verse, my new clips will play back. So here we're just playing the block clips. Nothing's been changed. And now we're going to override everything except the drum beat. Now my bridge block. Now there may be times when you want to unpack a block. In other words, you want to work with the clips right here in song mode and unpack what was in the block. And to do that, you control click on the block and choose convert block clips to song clips. And now it opens up. You can see if I drag this away that the block clips are still underneath but I'm overriding those with, in fact, the same clips that were in the block, and now I can edit them. I can do it for all of my blocks by clicking over here on the left-hand side and choosing Convert Block Track to Song Clips. That will take all of the blocks and convert them to clips, and it will actually turn the block lane off, so we will not be changing patterns of our blocks. Let me undo that. So that's an introduction to working with blocks in Reason. You can create notes and effects and automation all in the blocks and then use them to arrange a song.